Yo, what is happening? So this video is a bit different. It's in the car. Okay. Unfortunately, it's in the car because I, I think that today's topic is, or what I want to talk about today is especially interesting for me, at least, you know, maybe it will be for you as well. But what I want to talk about is I'm actually turning 31 in about three hours and I'm uh, sitting in my car <clears throat> and today I've spent the day with, uh, with my family, we were doing something around the house. So we're kind of spending some time together. And uh, as I was, you know, working, I could just notice different things pop into my mind. And um, what I realized is I was reminiscing on the 30 years of my life, you know. Um, my brother recently got a, uh, got a baby, one year old, and uh, seeing him grow Reminded me of how I grew and it's like 30 years of that growth and the 2019 is the year that I'm it was like officially <clears throat> full 30 years I'm gonna be 31 it was you know in a lot of ways it was uh, an interesting year because it was 2018 for me was a year of opportunity <clears throat> 2019 was a year of growth because um, it was a year of letting go. I've let go an old identity that I had. I've let go past relationships that I had, long relationships. I've let go people and friendships from my life. I've let go my old car, I got a new car, you know, that I had for like nine years. It was a part of me. I traveled around Europe in that car. <clears throat> it was, um, especially in the in the final maybe three or four months it was very intense you know and um now i'm turning turning 31 and i feel like it's a new beginning it's uh it's something new you know but at the same time i'm making the new beginning but it's not like it's completely fresh because i'm carrying with with me some old wounds you know and um I've dealt with a lot of things and I've kind of healed from a lot of things, but scars remain, you know, they, they are there and uh, they don't go away just like that. So it's interesting because I'm, I had to let go of things that I never thought I'm going to let go. I had to let go of people that I never thought I'm going to let go. And, uh, you know, that was this year. And I've realized that old things, they're supposed to go away, even beautiful things, you know, so... If you spend too much time in just thinking about it or regretting things, you can't see the beauty of the things. You know, so if something beautiful really happened, you you kind of have to focus. Even if it ended, you know, you have to focus on um, you have to focus on the beautiful part of it. You know, and when it's when it's done, when something beautiful is done and it ends, it becomes a part of you. And then you can take that part of you and carry it into a future experience where you'll, you'll be able to, you'll be able to uh, use that beauty to create a new experience even more beautiful. Um, but it's it's not like it's it's a wonderful experience. Everything is nice because it's kind of a bittersweet. You know, it's kind of letting go of something that you really care about. You know, um, it's kind of like you like the best way to describe this would be you get to a party and you feel so good at that party you wish it would never end, but then you understand that at some point it's going to end, and then you enjoy it. You're enjoying your time, and then you you, you start seeing people leaving the party and you realize that the party started the end of the party has started you know so eventually the party ends and you got to go home so it doesn't mean that you don't carry the memory of that party with you right just because it ended so this year was a year of letting go and i'm grateful for everything that happened um, I also feel like something new is going to happen. I'm entering a new stage in my life. I, I can feel it in my bones, you know. Um, 
I'm carrying a stronger version of myself into the future. A version, like in essence, a version that is more centered, a version that cares less about what people think, um, a version that lives more for himself. So I live more for myself. I do not care so much about people in general. Not in, I don't I don't care about them. I don't care about what they think of me. You know, I'm carrying with myself new wisdom. You know, a new way of looking at life, because I believe that in in these 30 years, I've uh, I've figured out life a little bit. You know, I've realized that I'm not in control. You're not in control of life. Life has its own course, and that a big part of life is just being able to let go, surrender yourself into life. And just observe what's going to happen. And sometimes good things happen. Sometimes bad things happen. But they are mostly just like a, almost like a test to see how you're going to respond. Um, biggest lessons or a big, one of the biggest lessons were, was that situation doesn't make you. It just shows you who you really are. You know, if something stressful happens and you react stressful, it's because you had that stress inside of you. It's how you interpret it. The, the situation that happened it's not the situation that happened you know <clears throat> so that's 30 years looking forward to the next one the next 30 years <clears throat> i'm gonna go and party my ass off now and i will talk to you soon bye-bye